Kings, this girl sends me a message, says, hey, handsome, how's your day? So I send her a message back, not a good day. She's like, oh no, what's wrong? I'm like, I was day trading, took the long position in DJT, lost $25,000. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you make it back. I instantly hit her with a block. First of all, I'm in my soft guy era. I'm not day trading to lose money. If you find out that I lost $25,000 in the stock market, I better see you put that $25,000 back in my brokerage account. Drizzle, drizzle. Men going their own way are hurting the economy. These dudes are not playing around in 2024. A record number of men are no longer working. They call it 7 million, but it's actually 30 million men. And now we're beginning to see the effects and the impact that these men are having on the economy and on society. 7 million men ages 25 to 54 not working or looking for work. 7 million. You can't build a civilization, a culture, a nation, an economy on men who are not activated and working and producing. What it means is you have far more consumers than producers. And then you have a whole generation of young men that are going to vote to increase the taxes on men who are working to reallocate wealth, which is stealing. And the result is at some point you run out of other people's money. That's why we now have record national debt and now credit card debt in America has for the first time reached over a trillion dollars. So men are not going to work or working. In addition, they are not generating income, but they're expecting the government to provide for them. And then they're taking out high interest rate credit cards to fund a lifestyle that they don't work for. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. There you have it. That's why these people are so pissed off. You see, women have been doing this for ages, you know where they use, the, they use the state to help supplement their living along with the simp economy. But men are now pulling back, walking away from the simp economy, walking away from the state. The average man does not need a law to survive. The average man can live happily in a shoebox at the side of the road, which is what many of them are essentially doing. And as a result, now that tax revenue is beginning to dry up. And it's not only drying up for the state, but it's also drying up within the church because men who don't, men who are not actively working are also not going to actively pay tide. So now these pastors, now society as a whole is getting absolutely infuriated because they're losing access to all of that money. It has always been about the money where the purpose of men are to provide money for the state. How do women operate? How do women get rewarded by the state? By reallocating wealth and resources from men to the state through divorce court, through family court, through the criminal court, through civil court. All of that brings money back to the state. And this is why these people are pissed off. They're pissed off because men are saying, yeah, we're good. We're not going to play this game anymore. We're not going to spend the rest of our lives working for absolutely nothing other than being a beta male provider and protector. Instead, we're going to take our, we're going to take our time. We're going to live our best lives. We're going to play games, eat, sleep, drink, and relax. You know, we're not going to prop it up anymore. And that's why they're so angry because the jig is up, right? Men are more than happy to be alone rather than feel alone. They're realizing that the best relationship that you can have is with the Lord Jesus Christ and yourself. You don't need anyone else to be happy. Happiness is not external. Happiness is internal. And men are focusing on their internal low. These young guys are doing with their time and energy. Porn, social media, video games. The beast, the false prophet, and the antichrist. That's what they're doing. Single guys in your 20s, here's what we know. 68% of guys in their 20s today are not dating a woman not intending to date a woman, have no actual interest in a relationship with a female and are making no movement toward marriage whatsoever. In the last few years, a lot of young men just moved home with their mother. They have no intention of ever moving out until they can find a girlfriend in her 20s or 30s with a good job and low expectations. And then their hope is to move into her house and have her pick up where mom left off. And what these are, these are generational curses and bad patterns that are destroying young men. Destroying young men. And today, young men are an endangered species.
One million men who have stopped looking for jobs and they're basically done working. Economist Nick Eberstad, is that how you say it? We'll just go with it. He says that there are millions of men between the ages of 25 to 54, which is basically prime working years, who have stopped looking for work. And it's not because these men can't find work. In fact, the US has too many jobs. Even though you're seeing headlines about tech layoffs and media layoffs, those two sectors only make up 3% of the U.S. jobs. With a lot of friends, with men in finance, you don't date the man in finance. No, 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 no. You date the man with no job. Hear me out. I, I always tell my friends, do not date a man with a job. We don't want the man with a job. You don't want the man in finance. They're stressed out, they're doing things they shouldn't be doing, they are not loyal. I, I have lots of friends in finance, all of them continuously single, and they're going up to their 40s, okay? We want the man with no job. And when I say no job, it's because he has no one that he talks to, there's no one he needs to report to. He reports to himself because he is a self-made businessman. He has no job. See, now you have to be careful with these women because they're realizing if a man is out here providing for himself without working actively, then he has to have a way of survival. That's the guy with the actual survival value. So you have to be careful because what women will do is they will adopt. They will adapt to changing times. Be very, very careful, Kings, all right? Because just like how you can switch it up, so can they. 0.2 million men. Prime working age, this is between the age of 25 and 54. These men are not working, and even worse, they're not looking to work. The vast majority of these prime age men are spending around 2,000 hours a year on screens women anymore and i mean this whole seriousness it seems like every time there's a trend where women say something men have to rebel back and then they take it to an extreme understand something ugly the women are not looking for you so when you guys say oh i'm in a soft guy era girls gotta come to me girls wasn't coming to you before now before y'all get mad hold y'all horses i know bro hold on he's one of us he's been living in his soft guy era He's been living in it. And little do y'all know he's on our side. He's been living in his soft guy era. He got proof. I can show you better than I can tell you. No broke women. No broke women. Gave him 10 bands for his birthday. Inside the cake. Got off the phone with someone I was seeing. And she asked me how my day was going. And I explained I was at the airport. And then she said, I'm glad you got there safe. And I said, yeah, I had to take an Uber. I had to block her. I mean, she was great and everything. She was emotionally intelligent, always paid for dinner, pretty much catered to my every need. But if you hear I'm taking an Uber to the airport and your first move is not to open up Venmo and send me money, are you even a real woman? And then you find out I'm on a commercial flight and you don't immediately charter me a private jet. I know my worth, drizzle drizzle. I'm in my soft guy era. I want to be pampered. And if you're broke, just say that. Oh my gosh, the burn, the burn. I felt that across the screen. Oh my gosh. If you're broke, just say that. If you're broke, just say that. Guys, subscribe to our new newsletter for my personal thoughts and insights. You can find a link to a description of the video. And also you can join the Angry Guy community over on Locals for exclusive content. Or if you just want to support the channel by going to angrygalaxy.com. And you can find a link to it in the description of the video. Guys, what do you think regarding all of this? Men going their own way are hurting the economy. These guys are not messing around. These guys are coming out and saying, hey, we are not going to take any BS. We're not going to take any nonsense. We are standing up for ourselves. We're standing up for, for what is right. We work when we feel like working. And, we, and guess what? Many of us don't have to work because we can live happily in a shoebox at the side of the road. But the truth, simple truth is that most men are minimalist by nature. And the average guy enjoys living a life of simplicity and luxury. When you go into a guy's home, he has pretty much everything he, that he needs and wants and no more. For a guy, less is more. Women make up 
women spend women make up 80 percent of the consumer economy while men pay 80 percent of all taxes in society so now we're seeing a bit of a rebalance where men are saying well we don't need a lot to survive so we're just not going to pay all of these taxes anymore we're gonna we're gonna basically you know no wife no kids and we're gonna live a happy life we'll have everything that we want everything that we need and cut the and cut the bulk and this is and this is gonna work great for us while women on the other hand they were never designed to be without a husband, right? And the state is no longer capable of supplementing all of these women who are not going to be getting married, not going to be in the family unit. The state does not have that kind of money. You know, we have a lot of things going on around us right now. So, of course, you have so many women living off the simp economy where a lot of these women, if they can't find a simp to buy them food for that day, to take them on a day so that they can eat, then they are... They're just not going to eat that day. They don't have that money. They don't have that money in their pocket. You know, a lot of these women, if they can't find a man to take them on a date that evening and buy them food, then they may not eat for that entire day. We're talking no breakfast, no lunch, no dinner. All right. And if they can't find a man to take them out and they do eat, usually it's like something very small because most modern women today are not able to cook, not able to cook. So forget about cooking for a man. They're not able to cook for themselves. They're not able to pre- able to prepare food for themselves, nor are they able to afford the food that's out there right now because food is insanely expensive. At best, a lot of women are doing what they call me- having medieval peasant meals, which is just basically crackers, fruit, cheese, and some and lunchable meat. But that that stuff is getting really expensive right now. All right, you could easily drop ten. 10 to 15 bucks on some decent deli meat. So they can't really aff- afford that on a daily basis anymore either. Guys, what do you think regarding all of this? This is some crazy stuff. Men going their own way are hurting the economy. Are you surprised by any of this? Let me know what you guys think and we'll talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away. And cheers.